Alright, what's up Warhawks Army, it's Iron Man here, alongside my amazing wife Sharania. Not sure if you guys can hear me, but hi guys. Sorry about that, I wasn't sure if it was working or not. Uh, I'm going to continue talking just for a little bit so I can see if people can actually hear me. Uh... Hang on. Uh, and we are doing some, we are starting some Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, the first one, better known as KOTOR. Um, and in case you guys missed it, I got affiliate. We did it. This is a thing that we are doing. So we are do playing some Knights of the Old Republic to celebrate. Uh, I've played and beaten this game before. I've gotten both versions of the ending. Just ignore the little pop-ups on screen. Well, I might actually block them since you're streaming from the actual system itself. Yeah. Oh, shit. If it seems like I'm not completely here, I'm attempting the end dying fight. No, I don't want to risk copyright. Ah. Fair enough. You might want to be careful with the sound effects then in any voiceover. And movies. Yeah, well, I don't think... I don't think the sound effects or the voiceovers will be a problem, but... Yeah, fair enough. But anyway, uh, we're going to start... Uh... What do you think? Should we do light side or dark side, babe? What do you normally do? I normally mix it up a bit. Hmm. Well, chances are you're probably going to do both sets anyways. Oh, yeah. So what do you want to do first, though? Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. It's interesting. They actually have, like, the avatars moving in the menu. Right. I'll do a poll. You're going to be sitting here for a while. You know this, right? I know one person. Hello. Hang on just a minute, guys. Setting up a couple of polls just so I can see. You know, you could have done that earlier, honestly. Just sing, guys. Oh, oh, okay, hold on. Uh, one person, can you tell me if you can hear me? And of course, Des uh, D is playing. Yep, not having much sound. 
Okay, anyway. Ah, come on. Just a second, guys. <laughs> What? Anyway, we'll figure that out in a little bit. Uh, right now, which what you think, babe? Should I do scout, scoundrel, or soldier? If you're a scoundrel, aren't you like middle ground at that point? Me skillful rogue that gets by on stealth and guile. Okay. An explorer most at home it, on the fringes of space. A battle ready fighter with no equal in combat. So basically you're gonna be a tank, you're gonna be stealth. How do you wanna play? I usually do soldier and because the, you can tank everything. Yeah. Fair enough. Right. I think do you want to try to change it up for this gameplay? You know what? Yeah. I'll do, I'll be a scoundrel. Okay, so that's more of like Um so then that's going to be more of like being able to do technician like technician stuff. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh I I think that one looks more like me. What do you think? A little bit. To be fair, they don't have to look like you. No, but... That's just how you usually do things. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna even this out. I would think you'd be more... Uh, with what you've got, I think you're gonna be more intelligence, charisma, and dexterity. Fair enough. That you are. Well, there you go. I evened it out all, the, all of the way. I prefer even... Well, you have more charisma as... Is it... Tell you what you yourself as a scoundrel would have. Right. Let's see. I'm a scoundrel, so I'll need stealth. Oh, that's as high as I can get it. Uh, I think you're gonna want like persuade and repair at least. Yeah. Because I don't think Security. you're not healthy scoundrel. I think it'd be more of the thief of would be for that. Yeah. I think I th I like the way I I I like what I did. And we got three people, despite what the, uh, what the thing up there says. What the thing up there says. How y'all doing? Yeah, okay. Boom, 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 boom. boom, boom. Alright, we're gonna go to Feats. Mm. Yeah, you have, like, different ones of these already unlocked as a scoundrel, don't you? Yeah. Uh. So. There we go. And since and since I'm not terribly uh creative with my names, I'll just use my actual name. Not to be fair, I'm not that creative either. Not really. No offense, babe. At least when it comes to naming things, anyway, we're not very creative. Boom, boom, boom. Ah. I Done. suddenly want to play some Skyrim. <laughs> right. Hey, Matt, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for showing up. Much appreciated. Let's go. Let's play. For now, I'm going to start off doing light side. Just so, um... Uh, well... 
about to say, yeah. I can't skip. It's not letting me. Yeah, I think what we're going to have to do is we have to make sure that's it. Yeah. Okay, there we go. I can go in and get access. Basically, all you need to know is that Darth Revan is dead, Darth Malak has taken over the Sith fleet, and they're attacking the Republic. We've been ambushed by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. Who are you? I'm Olgo, Ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite shifts. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up! We have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Who's Bastila? Bastila is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer, really. But she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. I know all about your reputation. How he used to smuggle spice and blasters along the Corellian run. I guess the Republic figured since they couldn't catch you, they might as well hire you. And I'll admit, the Republic is in desperate need of someone with your kind of skills. Desperate enough to overlook your shady past. But now that you've signed on for this mission, you're part of the Republic fleet. And Bastila needs all troops at her side during this attack. Alright, let's, let's go help Bastila. Okay. We have votes for... We have votes for Dark Side, at least I think. Self field generator, computer spike, security spike, blaster pistol, short sword, clothing, mid pack. Now it's always good as soon as you have it to equip your stuff. I'm going to go with blaster for now. Just so. Alright, and that's all I can do for now. Okay, let's move out. We should stick together. You'll have more success with a party than on your own. Because of the attack, right. this room is in lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. Okay. How do I do that? No. There we go. Okay. That wasn't too hard. Now that the door is open, you better take the lead. Okay. Yes? Oh. There we go. This is Carthel Nassi. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge! That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spire's crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. Sounds good to me. Let's move out. That door's locked, and I don't have the codes to open it. You'll have to use your security skill on it if we want to get past. Okay. Oh, yeah. No problem. Got it. Uh, uh. These Sith must be the advanced boarding party for the Republic. Okay, let's. I didn't last very long. Would have thought a Sith would have put. That won't be our last Okay. You know, I would have expected the Sith to put up more of a fight. Always check for... Always check for uh, loot once you kill somebody. Most of them, yes, but... Hold up. Remains. Frag grenade. No box.
Mid pack. Foot locker. Shit. Go. Let's go. Ah, shit. Probably Yes. Let's go this way. Oh. Alright, let's go to oh. Okay, so I need to work on my demolitions. Okay, so the way I'm going is toward the bridge. Good to know. How do I know that? Because... Right there. <laughs> oh, I hear lightsabers. Fun. It's a dark Jedi. This fight is too much for us. We better stay back. All we do is get in the way. Dark Jedi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Huh? No, Sith are Sith are Dark Jedi are ones that are not Sith yet. They're supposed to. They're supposed to only ever be two. Apparently. Rule of two. Huh? Because while there are, uh, because there are several, because there. Are many dark Jedi, but there can only be two Sith Lords. Although back in the ancient times, there was a Sith Order, like there was a Jedi Order. Yeah. Oh. Yes, I know my Star Wars. No, I'm just saying that's why I know so much about the about the lore. Yeah, he knows wrestling, he knows Star Wars. I know Power Rangers. Just beyond that door. Get that. You better equip your melee weapon. There isn't much room on the bridge, and it's suicide to use a blaster in close quarters. I should equip a melee weapon too. Either that, or I'll have to stay back and use my blaster. That works too. And Cortosis Weave if you, if they have blasters, so. Trask, you get a short sword. Sure. No problem. Didn't work. Off. You were saying? <laughs> All right. Let's go skills, demolitions, beats, two weapon fighting. There we go. Not here on the bridge. They must have retreated to the escape pods. 
We better head that way, too. The Sith want Bastila alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Endar Spire into galactic dust. All right, let's go then. Bastila is not here. Ah. The Sith want Bastila. Backpack. Backpack, backpack. Oh. No. Oh, but why not? I'm I'm just glad my brother didn't get into that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I had a hard enough time with Blue's Clues. Hey Matt, if you're still here, can you tell me if you can hear Steph? Yeah, I occasionally talk. Only occasionally. I say only occasionally for that. Oh yeah, this. There's something behind here. What are you force sensitive to? Damn, another dark Jedi. I'll try to hold him off. You get to the escape pods. Go! He's like, nah, bitch, Oh, yeah, he's got a lightsaber. What the hell do you expect? Yeah. Ah, shit. What? 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 <sighs> What's going on? Fucking people sending me stupid fucking chain letters on Facebook. Right. Okay. Let's go to the starboard section. This is Karth Onassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilis escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. Now, I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods. But be careful. There's a Sith patrol just down the corridor. Use your stealth skill to sneak past it. And... Okay, um... There. Matt, if you're still here, can you explain to, uh... Ryan... I'm kind of in the middle of something. What you do? Never mind, I got it. Oh, well, apparently that didn't work. Okay, so do what do you what do you think, babe? Should I use should I splice into the security system and wipe them out, or should I use the security droid? I think security droid would be more light side. I honestly don't think it matters. It you don't get in this early part of the game. You don't really get um. Dark side and light side. Yeah. Ah, bitch, I only have enough for... You only have enough for, like, the slicing, then? Yeah. Fair enough. Alright. Um. 
You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna use my security spikes and I'm gonna I'm gonna save my repair parts because you never know when I'm gonna need them. Yep. Then again, you never know when you're gonna need the sec ah. the security spikes ah. either. But still. Type Viper Blade. Okay. Okay. You've made it just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. Who are you? I'm with the Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left in the Endar Spire. Basila's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on! There'll be time for questions later. Alright, sorry guys. Passing along information. Basila's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around it's here and get shot by the Sith. Alright. Use the escape pod. I honestly hope this music does not get me a copyright claim, because... Again, you could have lowered the music. I volume. did! And it's still just... Well, there's also a movie, movie volume, too, to be fair. Fair enough. If it gets me a copyright claim, I'll take, I'll delete it and start over, and basically just make all the same decisions I did the first time. Fair then again, Super Best Friends Play did it, and they did, it played through all the stuff, and it didn't affect them. So how do you know? Because they wouldn't be able to play if they did. That's the thing; they can take things out too. Yeah. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? Uh. Right. I'm Elliot Lytle, by the way. How did we get here? I've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. Try not to worry. We're safe. At least, At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed. Luckily, I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you hey, away welcome, from the crash two people. Of confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived in the scene, we were long gone. You don't have to thank me. I've never abandoned anyone hey, on a mission, and I'm not about to start now. Besides, I'm gonna need your help. Terrace is under Sith control. The hell is that? The fleet is orbiting the planet. They've declared martial it's, law. I believe it's probably the same people who did like heavy rain and all that. But I've been in worse spots. It's very I saw their service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're going to find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. Bethla, she's she's the one from the Inner Spire, right? She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila is the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endor Spire and said an ambush. Okay, so we have one vote for on Facebook. We have one vote for for light side, one for dark side. Basil's young, and she has a powerful command of the Force. We survived the crash landing, so I'm willing to bet that she may have too. Besides, what's the alternative? I mean, if she's dead, 
then no one can stop Malik and his Sith from wiping out the Republic, and I'd rather operate on the assumption that she survived. Okay, so what do we what do we suggest we do next? Is gonna need our help. Many of Darth Malik's followers can use the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. Nobody will be looking for a couple of common soldiers like us, and if we're careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Bastila won't have. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how important she is to the war effort. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So, if Bastila's gonna escape Terrace, she's gonna need our help. And we'll probably need hers. Alright. Yeah, there where we should start looking? While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of skate pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity is a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Basil any good if we go and get ourselves killed. Alright. Uh... I'll tell you whatever I can, though I, I don't know how much help it'll be. Yeah. I know about Malik is pretty much common knowledge. He escaped the trap that killed Darth Revan, his Sith Master. With Revan's death, Malak became the new Dark Lord. It's obvious that Malak's a ruthless tyrant who will crush anyone who stands in his way, just like Revan was. Experience uh. shows that the Sith won't stop until the Republic lies in ruins. Malak and his Sith don't respect anything except raw, brutal power. It's hard to imagine how someone who used to be a Jedi could become such a monster. All right, uh, Jedi. What do you mean? Revan were once both part of the Jedi Order, but they were young and headstrong. And against the wishes of the Council, they went to battle the Mandalorians on the Outer Rim. Something happened out there. Something corrupted them and drew them over to the dark side. Or maybe there was something rotten inside them all along. I don't know. They formed an army of ex-Republic soldiers and Jedi who'd fallen to the dark side, with Revan at their head, until Revan was killed by Basila's Jedi strike team. But even that didn't slow the Sith down. Malak just stepped in and assumed Revan's role. He took control of the Sith Armada and resumed the bloody conquest of the Outer Worlds. Well, I hope you're right. But the Republic hasn't been able to stop them so far, even with the support of the Jedi Council. I think Basila may be the galaxy's last hope. Taurus was once a magnificent planet-wide metropolis of towering skyscrapers. But that was a long time ago. The upper city where the rich citizens live is is still pretty safe. If it wasn't for the Sith occupation and a planet-wide quarantine, it might not even be a bad place to live. But farther down, things have degenerated. The, the lower city is nothing but a slum overrun by swoop bike gangs, waging a never-ending war for control. And the undercity is, well, it's even worse. The lowest level of Terrace is a wasteland overrun by rat ghouls, mindless, diseased mutants that attack on sight. I've already entered all this info into your data pad journal. I understand why you want to know more about me. I, I kind of get the feeling we'll be spending a lot of time together over the next while. But this isn't really the best time for long introductions. We should stay focused on the task at hand. There'll be a time for that later. Fair enough. The sooner we start looking for Bastila, the, be the sooner we find her. Good Let's idea. go. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Basila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out. All right. All right, so that is going to do it for right now. I'm going to try to keep this to uh, as short as possible so that people are more inclined to watch the whole thing. If that means I have to go through 99 uh, episodes like Super Best Friends Play, that's fine. Not that I'm comparing myself to them. I'm just saying if I have to, I will. They are much better at this than I am, so let's save. And the 
with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.